How can companies most effectively demonstrate pay for performance alignment? As a result of the advisory say on pay vote, companies have been using realized or realizable pay to demonstrate pay for performance alignment. Multiple definitions of realized and realizable pay have resulted in inconsistencies in pay for performance comparisons, creating difficulty for investors in their assessments of companies. To address this, the Conference Board Governance Center, in collaboration with the Center on Executive Compensation and the Society of Corporate Secretaries and Governance Professionals, have published a white paper which lays out proposed standardized definitions of realized and realizable pay for use to supplement the summary compensation table in a company's proxy statement. Bringing standardization to these definitions will better enable investors to assess the linkages between pay actually received and past performance, pay and total shareholder return, and will enable more meaningful discussions between investors and companies on pay. Along with these definitions, the white paper lays out 11 principles to guide supplemental pay disclosures, such as disclosure should be based on publicly available information in the proxy, and disclosure should be consistently applied year over year. I'm Marcel Bukshescu, and this has been your Insight Minute.